Hello, beautiful. Today we're watching people do their own relaxers at home. And if that sentence sounded horrifying to you, I would agree. Relaxers are one of those things that you should probably never do at home yourself. Yes, I've seen them come out good, but they are very risky. Let's see if anybody's hair falls off today. Does anybody notice anything different about today's little setup? If you notice, comment below and you will win a like on your comment by me. That's a big win. Let me know if you notice. Oh, by the way, the title of this video says, I relax my 4C natural hair for the first time ever. And she's doing it at home by herself. Let's actually see what she says and then I'll add in my own commentary after. I'm relaxing my hair. I am so sick and tired of it. Technically, you're not supposed to relax your hair after you have already bleached it. <laughs> Yes, she is right. You have bleached hair. Relaxer plus bleach equals uh, just absolute horror. Relaxers literally chemically alter the structure of your hair. And if that sounds intense, you would be correct. It is very intense and it is spooky. I've never done this before. Let's just get into this because I am terrified. I haven't read the instructions or anything. It's a little unboxing. The thing that people never go through is what kind of relaxer they chose and why, because there are mild, medium strength and strong relaxers. It depends on what kind of hair situation you got going on, but she should use the most mild relaxer possible because her hair is already bleached. And when your hair is bleached, there is already a severe amount of broken bonds. And guess what relaxer does? It breaks more bonds. And when you have too many broken bonds, guess what happens? Dead to the floor, ball. Replenishing conditioner, aloe vera, shampoo, activator, extra strength. Give this video a like if you think she should stop. Okay, we did section the hair into four quadrants. I like that. Let's see if she's gonna start from the bottom and work her way up or start from the top and work her way down, which will be incorrect. Mm. Start from the bottom and work your way up. That is how we do things in here. Do you hear me? I heard that you can put like Vaseline on your front of your hair, but just put it on all the edges or parts that expose your forehead. I feel this is gonna be so hard to get out. This is actually kind of disgusting. Okay, I mean, at least she's putting the Vaseline all over her kind of hairline. That's good because yeah relaxers will eat the sh out of that fine baby hair and you will be left with zero baby hairs and having a life with zero baby hairs is just a really sad life to live if you ask me. Um, so I'm happy she's doing that. This will ensure that her edges do not break off. However, her ends that are bleached still might break off. And then apply that there. Maybe I should get section by section. Maybe. Maybe you should section your hair. I would if I was doing an intense chemical treatment that is going to alter the composition of my hair. I would, I would take little tiny sections. However, I would work very quickly. Relaxer starts the moment you apply it to your head. It's going, baby. It's going, it's off to the braces and you gotta work around your head very quickly. Apply it in sections, boom, 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 15 minutes, eh, you're done. Also, you should do a test strand before you do any of this, but we're not gonna do that, let's be serious. I would recommend laying the hair in the place that it's going to live when you do a relaxer. I have put it all in. I don't think I put enough Vaseline in the back of my head because I can literally start feeling it like burning my literal scalp. Oh, that's funny because you're not supposed to apply it to your scalp. I bet you that the back of that box or the instruction pamphlet inside said, do not apply to your scalp in probably big, red, intense writing. Guess who listens to that instruction? Nobody. Obviously it's not gonna look like this when it's done. I feel it's gonna look different, but honestly, it's as long as it is cute and straight like I want it. Now, this is the most important part is that she gets the timing right. Now you can leave relaxers on for many different amounts of time, but it depends on what is going on in your head currently. For her that has a bleach damage going on and very dry hair, you're not gonna wanna leave this on very long or else, again, it's gonna break off, fall to the floor and everything's gonna be horrible and life's gonna be just sad. You know, I want love, happiness and lengthy, healthy hair. Uh, but we'll see how long she leaves it on for. Something's telling me she's gonna leave it on for way too long. Now I'm gonna go wash it. I really hope it stays like this. I kind of like it, but we'll see. It's the first time for everything. I'm honestly like kind of in shock at how good it actually looked. The shampoo in it. It's supposed to be in for like two minutes, but honestly, I was like, I wanted to like, you know, get everything out. I'm gonna wash it again. And then this is where I fully dry it. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Why did you do this to yourself? Wow. It's bad. And guess what? The screen I paused on right here is um, her buying another box. Power of exotic oils. It says normal, so it's just a normal strength. It's not gentle for a girl with some bleach damage. No, we wanna be. We wanna kill that hair, right? 
No? Then why the hell did you pick normal? Ah, uh, listen. Applying to the roots first. First of all, you should never apply the roots. And second of all, leaving it on longer on your roots area is a horrible idea. Now, it's really important that when you apply the relaxer, you're actually using your fingers to kind of straighten the hair. Don't use a comb because your hair is in a very fragile state. But use your fingers to comb out the hair or the back of a, a applicator brush. Like just anything to get those curls and those waves and that texture out of the hair and have it sit nicely while it processes. This will help get optimal results. So I just washed my whole entire head. I'm shocked she still has hair. I truly am shocked. Replenishing conditioner in my hair. I'm just gonna do that. It says to leave it in for about 10 to 15 minutes. I basically put everything in my hair. It's all done now. It's not drying very well, but I feel like over time it'll dry. There's a lot of product in it, and it's just gonna take some time to do its thing. I don't want to make you feel bad, but I gotta tell you straight up. Your hair is damaged, and we gotta give it a break. Actually, we'll have to send you some of this. This is our new super gloss color in 5N. It would look so good on you. This is an extreme shine enhancing, deep conditioning, coloring mask. It'll make your hair feel and look healthier. This is everything you want all in one. Color, bomb booster, protein. This goes crazy and will bring your hair from drab to fab. And it only takes 15 minutes. You can also shop our new color, 5G. And we have a clear one of these in case you don't want to color your hair at all. Shop right down below and I will send you some personally. Well, we got the finished look for sure. Could she have gotten the same look with the curly hair she had and just styled it like this? Yeah. Is she gonna be able to wear it down? I don't think so. I mean, she can. However, that hair is not gonna move because it is dry, 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 dry. I would definitely recommend a super gloss mask, continuing to add bond boosters, protein masks, and grow out your hair and let it breathe. And if you wanna do a relaxer, do it on your non-bleached hair. You will get much better results. And also go to a professional who knows how to relax hair good. People that know how to do it good, do it good. That was quite a transformation, but make sure you guys vote at the end of this video on which transformation was your favorite. I want to hear from you. I'm sick of listening to myself all the time. I want to know your opinion. For the past two to three months, I have been just dealing with like an internal battle of trying to figure out what to do with my hair. Okay, Miss Aubrey has been four years without a relaxer and her hair is very coily. So get ready for a big transformation. I like my hair texture. I love almost everything about it. Except the fact that it takes me an entire day to get myself together with my hair. I always say, but curly hair grows. I give it to you. I would have the worst hair ever. I would look a mess every day of my life. I can't even style this hair and it's fine, straight, and I wake up like this. I don't like to twist my natural hair. I don't like to plait it. I don't like to do anything to it unless I'm doing braids. So if there's no braids in it, I like to wear it just the way it is. She's got some tight coily hair and oh my god, I can't wait to see how long this hair becomes. It's gonna go from here to whoop. The one thing I love more than anything in life is shrinkage. Huh? When it comes to hair, not other things. It is just a beautiful thing to watch the hair just grow right before your eyes. And it's like, whoa, where the f did you come from? Because I didn't see you before and you just popped up on me like that. It's very spooky. So I got all the knots out and this is the official last look at my natural hair that was blow dried like three or four days ago. I do also love that her hair is blow dried. That curl pattern is pulled out. It just makes it much easier to apply the hair in this state rather than super coily and tight to the scalp where it becomes kind of hard to section and difficult to get your hands through and make even sections. So I just proceeded to divide my hair up into four sections. As you can see, it's in four sections and I'm probably going to do the back first, rinse it out, and then move on to the top. However, I have a total of 15 to 20 minutes to do everything. Yeah! Love to hear this. She's going to apply it in 15 minutes, like I said. Get around the head, quick, boom, 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 hit every section, da 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 bump, let it go, don't touch it. That's what needs to happen here. And if you haven't given this if you don't like yet, please give it a like. And if you are, oh God forbid, if you are not subscribed, ah, ah, Ms. Manny Quinn is going to come for you. And that is not a threat. That's just how life is. Like Ms. Manny Quinn will come to your house or she will haunt you for the rest of your life. I'm just kidding. No, she won't. She might. It's just hair and you can cut it off and start over if it doesn't go the way you want. This is exactly what I said. Just know what you're getting yourself into and you might have to cut off all your hair at the end. And if you're comfortable with that, then do it yourself. Have fun. It's just hair. You know, I thought I was going to get one today that applies correctly. You know, I thought this was going to be the one who starts at the bottom and works their way up in sections. But no, we are still applying a big glob of sh 
right on the top surface of the hair and neglecting all the hair inside. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna work as quick as possible and do literally the best that I can. Okay, we are off to the last section. I bought two bottles of this relaxer because I was very sure that my hair would need more than one. Ah, uh, the confession that I have to make is that this is my first time doing this. I can tell. This is literally the first time I've ever done this. I've never done it on myself. It was always my mom. Okay, we are in fact applying to this scalp again. <sighs> I'll, I'll be okay, just give me, just give me one minute. Just give me one minute. I'm okay, I'm good. I completed everything. I know I might have some unrelaxed portions, but I don't want to keep it in for too long because I don't want to overlax my hair. This is what my hair looks like after I'm done. It looks a little thin, but it's still wet, so I don't know how it's gonna look when it's dry. It doesn't look very relaxed to me. I'm not a very relaxed person, so I shouldn't be the judge of how relaxed things look. That didn't really make sense. But it doesn't look that relaxed. I don't know, I feel like I didn't over process it, which I am happy about because I don't want it to be completely, completely straight. I just want it to be like, you know, relaxed, but not really relaxed, relaxed. But I did the, the neutralizing shampoo twice and now I'm gonna do um, a keratin reconstructor and then go from there and see how this goes in the end. The results are not very intense, which I suppose is better than the hair falling off her head. But God, when you guys do relaxers and the results aren't that intense, I just get all right, I wanna see a big impact, but she's about to do a whole lot of shit, including styling, haircut, all the, whatever, we'll see. This is what my hair is looking like post haircut. Everything is now even. She said my hair is really healthy and she likes the fact that I left a lot of texture in it and if it's not 100% straight or bone straight, it will be able to bounce back from whatever life is gonna throw at it. I completely do not regret getting a relaxer or a semi-relaxer or what the hairdresser said is a texturizer. I am glad I did it. Oh my God. I mean, it looks great. It does look very healthy, very shiny, and I'm so satisfied with the results. And yeah, she can wear her hair wavy now, and she can wear her hair straight. She doesn't just need to do one or the other. That is what's good about doing kind of like a half relaxer, where you don't do it too much, and you still let some of that natural wave pattern stay in the hair. I'm into it, she's into it, we're all into it. Hey. We are relaxing my natural hair. I've been natural since October 2014. <laughs> It says she's been natural for eight and a half years. This is a big moment, you guys. When a woman chooses to go from her natural texture to relaxed, people have opinions, okay? People go crazy. I've seen a lot of discourse about how they should maintain their natural texture. I think everybody should do whatever the hell they want with their hair because guess what? It is just hair and it grows back and you can experiment with stuff and it may burn your hair off and it may suck, but at least you gave it a go and at least you knew the risks before starting, hopefully. So you won't be too sad if your hair falls on the floor and dies. And, you're, and a bald. This is the relaxer that I've always used, and it is the ORS Olive Oil Relaxer. This seems to be a fan favorite. It is a tried and true, and it has been around for, I'm guessing, 50 plus years. I'm using it in the normal strength, and it's the No Lie Relaxer. A lie relaxer will be much more potent. I think that's a good idea for her to use a No Lie Relaxer because it's more gentle, and she has more fine, fragile looking hair, and her hair is not that coily, so she doesn't need that much strength to get this straighter. Her hair's already kind of loosened up. I've uh, sectioned my hair into three sections. So just the back and these two sides because I need to do the back all in one go. We're sectioning. We love to see that. Why am I feeling a little nervous? Because once you take this step, you can go back. You really can't go back. This is a very, very serious chemical reaction that is about to happen on your head. And yes, there's no going back. Whew, let me take a, a big woosa. Once I put on that first application, it's over. We just need to full steam ahead. So I'm going to try and just take a deep breath. Oh, I'm feeling nervous now. You're making me nervous. I, 
guys, would it kill us? Would it kill us to take another step in the sectioning process? Cause you got the four quadrants down, but would it kill us to just take nice thin horizontal sections and start at the bottom and just really nicely put that product in? Not a whole chunk of hair, just a nice little do 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 do. If you miss any strands in between, you're gonna have a weird, weird, weird texture where some hair is nice and straight and some hair is still coily and it's not gonna look good when it air dries. This is a mess, oh my gosh. I'm not feeling anything on my scalp just yet because I haven't, I've lathered it very well with Vaseline. So we finished the first tub. We are working our way around this head, getting every little section covered. It seems to be decently like she is covering shit. So I like to see that, but horrified of the results because of the fact that it's not super, super, super perfect. And with relaxers, you need to get things perfect. And I'm just gonna smooth all of this through, the smoothing, making sure everything's smooth. And yes, it is right on that scalp, right on that forehead and everywhere. I hope your skin's gonna be okay. I'm stressed for your skin more than your hair at this point. My scalp is not burning yet. Um, oh no, don't do that. Do not wrap your hair into a bun. It is putting immense amounts of tension on your hair. You do not want any tension. You also do not want to wrap it around itself because then all the heat is gonna stay in that bun and you're gonna get uneven distribution of heat. An uneven distribution of heat creates uneven results with relaxers. So we really want the air to pass through those layers of hair. So even just fluffing up those layers to make sure the air is passing through would be great. We have used two full tubs. I'm just gonna wash this off. Go in with the neutralizer shampoo. My scalp is starting to tingle, but only by the slightest. She let it sit for a bit and now she's using neutralizing shampoo, which is the next step. I've put the neutralizing shampoo now. This is the third wash. I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I'll come back, wash it, and then I'll put in the conditioner and that conditioner, I'm gonna let it sit for about maybe half an hour. What the shampoo is doing is stopping the chemical process. And if you do not stop this chemical process by neutralizing, then it is going to keep on breaking those bonds in your hair. And the bonds are what keeps your hair together. Otherwise it just, snaps. I have washed out the shampoo and now we're gonna go in with the conditioner just to bring back all of the things that have been stripped out by the relaxer. This is me after washing off the relaxer and the conditioner. I sat with the conditioner for about 45 minutes then I combed my hair with a white tooth comb just to make sure that I was like fully detangled. So far her hair is looking decently straight but I can tell there's inconsistencies in the straightness of the hairs. I have blow dried my hair. I am absolutely loving the fact that I can run my hands through my hair and I am just gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna bother straightening it. That is a huge difference. The one thing I'm gonna say though is I can tell you use too many styling products and if you didn't use any styling products then you don't have this conditioner wash all the way out. When the hair looks heavy like that and it's kind of just like wouldn't blow in the wind and be fragile and airy and cutesy then you have too much product in your hair. I feel like the two transformations we just saw both of them use too much product because when you have curly hair you get used to using immense amount of products to style. When you have straighter hair, you wanna go lighter on those products and use lighter products in general so that your hair looks more airy, flows in the wind, doesn't get weighed down by all those oils and waxes. The only thing that I'm gonna do now off camera is to trim my ends up to there. I can't stop running my hands through it. I'm so in agreement. Cut those dead ends off. Oh, I wish she did it in this video so bad. I wanna see those. I don't like them at all. But I think this transformation was gorgeous and I'm so happy that she loves it. Next time, fix your application, okay? And you'll get even better results. Except the relaxer touch up is a whole nother subject and that's even more difficult. So good luck, you're gonna need it. <laughs> okay, before you go, please make sure you vote on your favorite look. Here they all are, one, two, and three. I personally think number two came out the best. I just think it looked natural, beautiful, and she gets both the wavy texture and the very straight hair if she wants it. So it's the best of both worlds, and she didn't kill her hair, and she didn't start with bleached hair, and there's just a lot of good going on. But let me know down below what your favorite end result was. And make sure to shop my brand new super gloss colors in 5G and 5N for healthier looking, smoother looking, sexier looking hair than ever before. We love it, super easy to use at home, 15 minutes, no mess. It is a beautiful, rich color. If you wanna learn more about these products, they're listed right down below, along with all the other X-Mono hair products of my own. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.